The weakening Chinese yuan is leading to sales of U.S. stocks and bonds. As we just learned, China sold the most U.S. securities in four years in August. Yahoo Finance's Jared Blickery has the details for us. Hey, Jared. Hey there, that's $21.2 billion in the last month alone uh, for the month of August. This chart goes all the way back to the year 2000. It tracks how many securities, how much securities China has invested in the U.S. That's institutional and retail, but almost all institutional. And a lot of that on behalf of the Chinese government itself. Uh, you can see for most, for the first half of this chart, uh, they were building up reserves of not only treasure, uh, treasuries, but agency securities like Fannie and Freddie debt and mortgage uh, back securities as well as stocks. But what's happening now is we have been engaging in selling and the rate is actually increasing. So $21.2 billion is pretty significant because that consists of not only treasuries and stocks, but also uh, Fannie and Freddie debt, so-called agency debt. And uh, before in this year, China had been rotating from treasuries into agency debt, but now they're selling everything. So this is kind of a wake-up call. Now, I want to go to the Chinese currency here. This is the U.S. dollar versus the U.N. And this is a year to date chart. And you can see the U.S. dollar is at the strongest point right now that it has been all year long. And I can show you a 20 year chart. Well, let, me, let me dial that down to a 10. And I can show you the incredible volatility this currency has had uh, versus the U.S. dollar. And we are now at the weakest level of the yuan or the strongest level of the dollar since about 2006, 2007. Now, all of this pressure also puts uh, all of this selling also puts pressure, upwards pressure on 10-year T-note yields, uh, as well as the entire treasury complex. That's because as China sells, that pushes the yield up. Uh, investors need a higher yield to attract uh, new investors. So you put all this together. China has been in a really tough spot all year long. This is a look at the NASDAQ Golden Dragon China Index, its constituents. Um, and this is a year-to-date look. Let me show you the equal weight. There's uh, more losers than winners, but you take a look at how how much a lot of these stocks are down. In the middle row alone, we're looking at 11.5% to 24%. By the time you get to this uh, semi-bottom row here, you're looking at uh, drawdowns of 50%, and that is the norm. Uh, you, can see, you can see some outliers to the upside, uh, but they are far and few between. Uh, all of this is to say that the uh, People's Bank of China and the Chinese authorities are in a really tight spot. They want to stimulate their economy, but they're facing a devaluing currency. And when that happens, they have to worry about capital outflows. All of this is a vicious cycle and is putting pressure on U.S. yields as, as well, which puts pressure downwards on U.S. stocks. So you can see uh, it gets a little bit complex here, guys, uh, but the web is very tangled and there's probably more to come.